How to plan your actions with a riparian planner. Once the waterways have been mapped, you need to sort out your plan. Click on this Plan Actions page. Your workflow may appear easier by minimising here or opening up if need be. There are a lot of details in here. If you're ever stuck, try using these help guides. Site preparation means before you are going to plant or fence. It is a cost figure with options of default fences like 2 wire at $4 per metre. At any stage you can edit your planning costs. They are based on national averages but you can adjust these accordingly. For example, you can change a 2 wire fence from $4 to $5 per metre. You'll recall previously we entered 200 metres for stock exclusion. If we did 100 metres per year, the bar will move to show you how close you are to the target. It turns green to tell us you'll have stock exclusion and be finished by 2020. The next thing is planting. This will assume you will want to plant the whole distance. For Scott Farm we have a native dominated area. It tells us that you may only need additional planting to fill in any gaps. In this case you may want to plant 25% which is down here. This means you need to spend that much money or need 520 plants. If that's your objective you can do that. Let's say 520 plants in one year. It will go green as a start. You can also break that down and it will go green to reach that magic number. You may only want to plant 100 plants per year for three years. You can move the slider until it goes green down the bottom and it will tell you how much effort that will get you. In this case, it will be 15% of the waterway with 300 plants in total. You can also do it by cost. You may only want to spend $500 per year. We can see that this is not getting us towards our target. We can slide this back once again until it goes green. It tells us that we're getting 17% of the way there. Depending on your objective, it will tell you whether you've reached it. It is mostly native planted. We'll want to get about 50% so we'll need just over 1,000 plants or $5,670 worth of plants based on our costs. Let's have $500 this year. Now it has gone orange. So we've gone over and above what we need. So we can delete these ones. Now it's back to green, meaning we're hitting our target of 50% of the waterway. In this case, 52%. Ongoing maintenance is generally around weed control around your plants. It's really important that this is factored in. Other costs covers the rest of your needs. And that's your waterway done. Now that's our main stream. Let's concentrate on our wetland. Site preparation. This is about before you plant. You can see that this is a massive wetland and it's asking for $70,000 worth of plants. In this case, for Scott Farm, it's full of willows, but we're not going to plant any of it. So, zero in there. Let's concentrate on willow control. Remember how we filled out weeds before? This wetland or critical source area contains invasive weeds, so controlling weeds will be a priority before planting. Planting here is also going to be really difficult, so let's go for weed control. We have a total expenditure for both of our waterways, reaching out from 6,650 down towards 1,000 towards the end of our plan. Remember to save your work as you go. 